Hey YouTube, Sakboy Mahalo here with another video. So they've uh, finished uh, repairing the the termite damage. So they replaced all the wood that's uh, been uh, eaten by ter termites. If you look at the fascia board, it's already fixed. So now, the termite company recommends tenting, tenting your uh, house. So what does that mean? Uh, so they're going to put a tent over the house and put gas in your house to kill the rest of termites or insects, whatever it's inside your house. So we've uh, talked about the termites since termites, this is the dry wood termite. Uh, won't be able to go inside the roof because it's it gets hot in there but you never know uh, we have here in San Diego is uh, like Mediterranean Mediterranean weather which is a uh, like really mild summer and winter so the termite uh, company recommends tenting the house so they'll put a tent and they'll put a uh, poisonous gas in your house so this video is about getting ready your house for tenting so the first thing is I cleared up all outside the house so they can put the tent easy that uh, side door will probably be open because they're gonna put a tent up around it too and I've taken the plants out on the side of the house okay and to be ready for the tenting or fumigation that's what they call it any uh if you have pets so they have to come out hey are you finished eating yep or else they will die okay your pets like pets any plants Live plants, of course, has to come out. And then food, any food, except this one here that are sealed. If you have a plastic container that's still sealed, any glass container that's still sealed, or metal container, so you can leave that. You don't have to bag it. So anything that's food, medication, anything that you put in your mouth to eat and it's not originally sealed, then you have to double bag it. So they'll give you a bag like this and then you have to bag all that food that you want to keep in the house. The rest, if you can take it with you, then take it with you. Okay, so you have to double bag it separately. So what we've been be doing is uh, double bagging the the food or any yeah food that uh, we're gonna use afterwards. Anything that's not sealed. If you have like unsealed but it's cardboard, then you have to uh, bag it still. So what you do is you have two bags. Put all the stuff in the two bags, then use a uh, um, cover the bag, the first bag inside, and tape it using a pigtail method. And then after you seal the first inside bag, then you seal it again with the outside bag. So you pretty much separate two bagging, double bagging of the the food and the medication that you put in your mouth toothpaste shampoo you don't have to double bag it so because since you the toothpaste you put it in your mouth but you don't uh, swallow it <laughs> okay so like coffee has to double bag since it's already open now if this has still the seal 
then you don't have to double bag it okay like this one here this water here it's still sealed so no need to double bag it so plants has to come out as well right here my decorative plants this is pineapple and it has roots already so that's my decorative plants okay what else oh yeah by the way ever since we're planning to have it fumigated i've been uh basically clearing out my freezer anything that uh the food you can consume before so you don't have to double bag it but i couldn't uh i bought some more since they were on sale so i guess we'll have to double bag that food yeah start uh, consuming the food don't buy any groceries if possible like this one here the coffee maker just get rid of the water dump it and you can use it afterwards so that the the gas that they use uh, easily dissipates after they take out the tent so i think tenting will be at least 24 hours so you gotta have a place to stay during those time they will also the company will also ask the gas company for your heater and um to shut off the gas in your supply in your house. This one here will be going somewhere. It said uh, once the fumigation is done, just run your aquarium for 24 hours before you put your pet fish and it'll be fine. Okay. Anything valuables, so valuables that you think you need to take out, take it out with you, put it in a storage or something, because uh, there's a chance that during fumigation, there'll, there'll be people going, uh, stealing. So there's uh, reports of that. So take the valuables out, like jewelries, um, you have gun collection or knife collection. Um, anything that's valuable to you. Just take it out. So that it'll be easier. So like my gun collection here of plastic guns. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it here. <laughs> That's all guns I have. The knife collection, they said, uh, uh, knives like this one here, since uh, you can buy them easily, you can leave it. But like uh, collectible knives, that's what he was saying. Uh, coin collection, that's another one. If you have coin collection, anything valuable to you, Take it out. Uh, put it somewhere else for the meantime. Okay, all this open uh, container of uh, food, cooking oil will be double bag again. So the windows. That's why they're gonna have it open for the gas to come in. That's why there's a chance of burglary in your house. All right um food like this if you can consume it before if not double has to be double bagged so we opted for the security for the house so hopefully no one will uh, go in all right anything else yeah anything that's obstructed uh, around the house take it out so what I did before uh, 
for fumigation I made sure this one this one will probably be taken out away from the house I cleaned up around the house so it'll be clear any plants that close to the house I've taken it out as well so this one here is clear clean also so that they can put the tent that gate will probably be open so because they have to put the tent on the side so your house will be accessible to anyone so anything valuable take it out uh, then after the fumigation they're gonna take the tent out then the time they'll have to have your the gas and electric um, will come back to turn on the gas electricity will still be you'll still have electricity so everything that's uh, like heater computer has to be off though Anything that will probably ignite uh, for fire, that will be turning off. Okay. So no lights, no hot spot or anything. Okay. So that's it. Um, that's a lot of stuff to do still for the fumigation before the fumigation okay thank you for watching uh have a good one have a good one bye bye